everyone. Today I'll be changing the lights on my trailer. It should be a pretty easy job as far as DIY goes. Uh, whether you need to replace the globe or the whole housing, like in my case, it's pretty straightforward. So we'll get stuck into it and I'll show you how it's done. As you can see, this one's been smashed to pieces that many times and put back together with silicon. It's just gotten to the point where I need a whole new unit. The first thing you wanna do is get this old plastic out of the way, unscrew your light, unclip all the wires, and then you'll be ready to start putting this one in. Alright, once you've got good access to all these wires, take a photo so you remember where they go. And if you've got the exact same unit to replace it with, it should just be a matter of unplugging this one and then plugging the new one in. That new one comes with gloves as well, so that's a bonus. Also, if you don't actually have the opportunity to replace the existing lights with the same ones, this kit comes with all these spade connectors, so if you need to cut the wires and re-crimp it, you can do that as well. Pull your wires through, make sure this is the right way around. Just check your photos that you took earlier. Once this is uh, roughly in position, we'll put the screws in. Then we can connect these wires back up and that should be it. These just need to go back where they were. Check your photos so you don't get things wrong. Now's a good time to check whether all this works before you put your casing back on. Because um, if there's anything wrong, you can easily change these wires around and fix it up. I'm pretty confident that this is correct because it's the exact same unit that was on it before. So I'm gonna just tighten everything up, put the casing back on and it should be good to go. You don't want to crush these wires here because you can actually crush them on um, this divider in here. So you really want to split these apart and make sure that goes across here in the middle. Even if you do have access to a drill, you really want to make sure you tighten that screw up by hand. There's a high chance you'll over tighten it with a power tool. And as easy it is to replace these things, you really don't have to do it twice. Let's say your light already looked like this and you just had a blowing globe, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is undo that screw. Figure out which one of these is blown. And to get them out, all you have to do is push down a little bit, twist it a little bit, and it should just pop right out. All you have to do then is just get a new one and put it back in the way the old one came out. As you can see, that's a pretty easy job for you to be able to do yourself at home. All you need is a screwdriver pretty much, and that's it. So, no need to pay someone to do something like this for you. Just buy yourself a screwdriver and it's as easy as that. Thanks for watching.